right guys today is the day we're finally going to be making Penelope's new enclosure bioactive so this is her new exoterra it's bigger than her old one um, the ones that her and Tootsie were in I believe are 18 by 18 by 12 maybe I know they're a little bit bigger than a 12 foot or 12 inch I think they're 18 by 18 by 12 so these are 24 by 18 by 12 so these are much longer they're really big so because Penelope and Tootsie are both females they should get quite large for their species so I want to upgrade them to something that can be their forever enclosure which this can be so Penelope is still just an itty bitty little hog nose but this will be like a nice big castle for her and should she become a full grown female hog nose this will be perfect so I've already got our custom background in that I made that was in a separate video um, so if you want to see how I made that, you can watch that video. For our substrate today, I'm finally trying out some BioDude substrates. I've got some Terra Sahara here. I don't think this will coat the whole, like won't be a nice thick layer. So I'll probably mix in some of my own um, DIY bioactive stuff, because usually I do my own DIY mix. But because they're more of an arid species, I wanted to use mix. I was just already done for arid species. It's good to go. And I've been wanting to try Bio Dude, and he had a 4th of July sale. So I figured, why not? So we're going to dump that in and then see how much I get. And then I might add in some more substrate that's just my own. So like topsoil and whatnot. Okay, so now we're going to continue. I forgot I wanted to touch the heating pad before I did all this because it's a pain in the butt to move a finished enclosure to attach a heating pad afterwards. So, let's get the background back in. Now with these backgrounds, I'm experimenting with not doing the back or top. I did the bottom though, since that's where all the cleanup crew and stuff will be. And I made it a little big so I knew it would fit in, but it's not going to stand up on its own now. So once I put in rocks and substrate and everything, it should be fine. But for now, it's a little heavy and tipping over. So we're going to dump in the Terra Sahara. I want to say I looked online and measured and it told me I'd probably only need one bag. But I definitely think I need to mix in some extra substrate. So it's actually pretty good, but because I have plants and cleanup crew, I do want it a little deeper. So I think I am going to add in, I don't know, it's pretty, no, it's kind of shallow. So I think I will add in some extra substrate. Okay, so it's a little deeper now. We're gonna put in our plants. So I've got a bunch of succulents. Um, I always say that my animals have their personalities. I said this when I made her background. She makes me think of the color pink and like sunshine. So I wanna make sure that I have some pinkish plants. So I've got these pink succulents that we're gonna put in. I think I'll put it right over here. And I've got this really big one and I love these. I put one in my leopard gecko enclosure. I love them. So we're gonna put it right towards the back. Oops. And before I keep going, I think I'm gonna put in a stick to hold the background in place. So I've got some nice climbing sticks for her. And we're gonna use these to keep the background propped up. Perfect.
I went overboard and had too many plants for my leopard gecko. And I'm going underboard and I don't have enough plants for Penelope. I'm trying to save some for Tootsie. I think this looks fine. Because then she has stuff to room, or, or room to uh, move around. I have to remember that a water dish has to go in still. I think we'll leave it for now. I can always add plants later. And we'll go ahead and put in our leaf litter. So I wasn't sure about giving her moss, but I've seen people sprinkle in moss in their hog nose enclosures and I like the looks of it. So we'll just, we'll sprinkle some in. And then our leaf litter. So I'm still using the same bag I've had for a while. Actually, this is it. This is from Glassbox Tropicals. Uh, I've gotten leaf litter from Amazon too. I like this stuff because it lasts me quite a while. It's a big bag. They're little leaves. I had someone ask me, I think for quesos, why I don't just go outside and collect leaves, why I actually buy leaves. Um, I do go outside and collect leaves, but I do that for my isopods. Um, for my reptiles, I want to make sure that what I'm using is reptile safe. And I don't trust myself to go out there and leaf ID and make sure that the leaves are safe. I'd rather just buy them from a reptile supplier. And I like the looks of these little leaves better, especially for small animals. So like for my hognose, my leopard gecko, my sand boa. Is it focusing? I can't really tell. I just like the looks of these little leaves instead of like big chunky leaves. So we've got our leaf litter for our cleanup crew, so our isopods, and our springtails. This is what they eat. Make sure it's spread all over. Alright, so the heat pad is over on this side, so this will be her warm hide, her cool hide. I'll probably eventually throw in another hide. In the middle, I'd like to do more cork bark laying around on the ground, so I have limited supplies of cork bark right now because I have a bunch of builds and upgrades I'm doing. So once I get more cork bark, I'm going to layer cork bark all over the ground here, so stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if that will be in this video or just a future Instagram update, so make sure you're following me on Instagram for enclosure changes and updates so you know what's going on with that, but that's my plan. All right, so now we dump in our springtails and our isopods. So for my spring or for my isopods, you can see I'm using orange isopods. Um, they're pretty hardy. They do pretty well with less tropical setups. So I ordered a whole bunch of these off of eBay. I find it's cheaper to buy them off of eBay because you can get a larger amount for less money. So I got out like a hundred and something of these on eBay. For like, I don't know, 30 something dollars. So, boop. And then we've got our springtails. So I originally bought my springtails from Josh's Frogs. They come in this container and I bought food and I just keep breeding them in this container so I don't run out. So you guys can see in there little white moving specks. So we're just gonna sprinkle it around. There we go. Now we just let it sit. We don't put Penelope in right away. We let it sit, let the plants get rooted, and let the cleanup crew get settled and make their home here. Um, so they start breeding and living in this little ecosystem we've created. So there is my Hognose Bioactive. I'm really liking the looks of it. Let's get a closer look. Okay, so here is the Hognose Bioactive. I like how it came out. Um, so I'll update you guys again when we put Penelope in. Maybe I'll have some more cork bark by then. Maybe some more plants. But this is how it looks. 
All right, so I'm just updating you guys with the most recent changes. So I did get an aloe plant for her. I also got this succulent right here. Um, I don't remember if I had, I did have two sticks in. Well, I also added her flower pot. I forgot I had a flower pot hide for her and I really like the looks of them. So I made sure to put that in here. So she's got three hides now, which I love offering three hides. I think it's more, like ideal. Um, and I found these little bamboo sticks in my room hanging out. So I slapped them in here so I could get the air plant over here propped up out of the dirt. Um, I don't know if that part's going to survive. That just came off of the other air plant. And so I just stuck it over here. So we'll see. But this is what it looks like as of right now. Is it focused? I can't really tell. There we go. Um, so today I have small pieces of pork bark coming in so we can finish it and call it a day. Okay, so today's the final day. We're going to be putting them in after we put in some pork bark. So I have a one gallon bag of little pork bark pieces here from Glass Box Tropicals. And so we're going to go ahead and put some in Penelope's to finish it off before we put her in. Alright, so a final overview look of what her new bioactive looks like. I've seen the isopods running around so they're doing just fine. So let's get Penelope and see what she thinks. Although first I have to put in her water dish. I forgot to leave a spot for the water dish. Um, maybe up front here. If I move that over. I'm not even sure if her water dish matches this setup. I think it does. Okay, so water dish is in the corner. I moved these sticks around. I liked it better before. But because I cut the background short, it doesn't sit flush against the back. And I'm a little nervous about her climbing behind it. So I use these big sticks to push against the glass up here and the background to try to make it flush against the back. Um, we'll see how she does if she manages to get behind it. I'm going to have to pull her and silicone it to the back or something. So hopefully I don't have to do that. Hopefully there's enough going on up here that she doesn't worry about trying to climb to the back. It feels pretty flush now because of the sticks pressing it on it. So, fingers crossed. You know, I did like how it looked better before, but whatever. It works. It's bioactive. Let's go ahead and put Penelope in. Hi, okay. Why are you being wild? Oh, you shed. Look at that. We've got a shed. So I had her in this tub temporarily while I set up her new enclosure. So we're going to take that water dish out. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on so she shouldn't escape while I put the water dish in. Update. So I forgot that I hadn't switched over her thermostat yet. So we're going to let the heat pad heat up so I can check that out make sure everything's working good before we put her in. All right, Penelope, ready for your new home? Huh? You ready? Okay, so for anyone that hasn't met her yet, this is Penelope, my western hog nose. Um, she's about, I think a year and a half now. I'll have to look at her file because I don't remember off the top of my head, but she's adorable. All right, let's see how she likes her new home. All right, Penelope. Want to go in?
right next morning and Penelope is out adventuring. Good morning. There we go. Hi. <laughs> 